All right. Well, we'll start with we'll start with Emily. Hey, Talia. Um, you, you gonna wear that after every game? I said, are you gonna wear that after every game? <laughs> yeah, every game we win. <laughs> I just supported my brother. Yeah. Um, I guess just for you, do you feel like you're you're really starting to find a rhythm um, and how beneficial is it for you to be able to kind of back to back weeks really have a pretty mistake free game and, and kind of getting into a groove there? Um, yeah, I feel like our, our whole offense and as well as our defense too, you know, I feel like we're all finding our rhythm. And like Coach said, you know, it all starts at practice. You know, if we continue to practice hard and, you know, do the extra stuff and, you know, continue to play as a team, then, you know, we'll get the result that we want. So. And this is this is fairly overarching, but when you committed to come to Maryland, you know, we you hadn't really seen what Loxley was going to be able to do with this program. Um, the success you have in a night like tonight, like, did you did you foresee this? Like, did you think that – you be able to take this program come to the next level as a team. Um, man, stuff like this I, I can't imagine, and that's that's when you know you know it's, it's it's only God. Only God can do this stuff, and um, you know that's the way I approach everything. You know, with, with my faith, and as well as Coach Locks too. You know, and our whole team. Um, you know, he he always tells us, you know, if we put in the work, we're gonna get good results out of it. So, you know, I feel like if we just continue to work hard, then we're gonna get the results that we need. Lila. Hey, Leah. Um, in, in the past two weeks, you know, there's been kind of two historic wins for Maryland with the, you know, 17-point comeback and now just the third win against Penn State. Just, you know, what does it mean to you to be able to come to Maryland, be a part of, um, you know, such big wins and kind of um, turning around the program in that regard? Um, man, it's a blessing. You know, uh, yeah, I heard Maryland – Hasn't beaten them in a long time. And, um, you know, to come in here and get them at their place, you know, it's a blessing. And, you know, our team looks forward to, you know, the opportunities. You know, we like to compete. And, um, you know, yeah, it's just, it's just a blessing. And hopefully we can continue to build off of this, like how we build off of um, the Minnesota game. And Rakim had the first two touchdowns of his career today. What's your, um, you know, favorite part of playing with a guy like that? Yeah, Rakim, I mean, he's a super hard worker. You know, we stay back after practice as well as um, all, all the receivers and, you know, just working top of the routes or, or working different releases and trying to catch different balls and stuff. So, um, you know, they trust me and I trust in them. And, you know, just to see, you know, the hard work pay off from them, you know, it's, it's, it's good. And like I said, hopefully we can build off of it. Thank you. Uh, yep. Yeah. Andy. Hey, Leah, uh, did you guys play with uh, Latez Rogers in mind today? You said, you said what? Did you guys play with Latez Rogers in mind after discovering his mom passed oh, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that, was, that was for our brother, Latez. Um, you know, it's super tough, you know, losing a loved one like that. And, um, you know, we, we, we talked before the game and, you know, coach told us that, you know, this is deeper than just a football game, you know, it's for our brother. And um, yeah, we just continue to pray for him. Ed. Talia, does Rakim act like a freshman or play like a freshman in any way? Uh, well, Rakim, he's just a baller. You know, like I said, our, our whole um, wide receiver group, you know, they're just a bunch of playmakers. And, you know, you just got to get the ball in their hands and, you, know, you see what what they can do with it, but um, yeah, Rakeem, you know he he loves to learn and he loves to grow, and that's one thing that I like about Rakeem. You know, he's always open to take information, and you know, for him, he's never satisfied with anything. He's he's always wants to you know get better, whether it's a release or a route or catching. So yeah, he he's definitely mature. And on the touchdowns that you threw to him, did you notice? I'm, I'm assuming you must have noticed that Penn State wasn't motioning with him when he was in motion. Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes uh, Penn State, you know, man zone indicators. Sometimes they like to, uh, you know, bring bring the other safety down. But you know, coach tells me to, you know, reassure uh, man man indicators with with the corners, whether they're their man eyes on receivers or with me. So, you know, we anticipated, 
that coming. And, um, you know, Rack did a good job on winning their, winning their matchups. And, you know, I'm glad. Thank you. Yep. Alif. Hey, Talia. Um, Coach Locks mentioned that you guys were still in a phase of growth, and a part of that growth was sort of the drop off um, in offense from the first half to the second half. For you, sort of, how are you approaching improving on those mistakes you've made and, and sort of how to stay consistent? Yes, sir. Um, yeah, you know, we try to run a trick play, and I'm supposed to throw the ball, ball all the way. And, you know, like Coach said, that stuff, you know, I got I to learn on. And, you know, we got you can't look at the scoreboard. Coach always tells us to play and just not look at the scoreboard. And if we just continue to do our job, then you know, we'll be happy with the results. But, you know, finishing, we, we just got to finish. And, uh, you know, it starts with me, just, you know, not getting away from my fundamentals and, you know, just always staying focused and locked in throughout the whole game. So I got to get better in that. And, um, yeah, I just got to get better. Thank you. For our last one, we'll go to Jacob. Hey, Talia, you guys had four touchdowns tonight of over 30 yards. Just what allowed you guys to take advantage of the big plays early on? You said what? Sorry. You had four touchdowns of over 30 yards. What allowed you guys to capitalize on the big plays so effectively early on? Um, so I, I think Coach, Coach Mo called a really good game. And, um, you know, we – you know, I just took what they took what they gave me, and when the big plays, you know, prevented us, uh, prevented themselves, then I just, you know, just took it. I mean, Rakeem made made you know two long runs, and um, you know, Demons had a nice catch, and as well as Jake. So, you know, I think, um, you know, the big plays just just sometimes it, it just happens to us, and you know, we don't have to make big plays, and if we just continue to focus and do not get bored with the basics, then I think it'll just the big play will just come. Thank you. Thanks, Leah.